guys, welcome to another episode. Hey guys, so on today's episode, we're gonna share what it's like to hike the tallest peak in Arizona. And then after I share that, we're gonna tell you about how what transpired on that day has shifted and changed my plan to attack my ultra training. So first of all, a huge shout out to my best friend Deanna because your girl got hit with really bad altitude sickness at 11,400 feet. So I had this epic plan to bring you along on this amazing journey so you could see exactly what it was like to hike with vlogging all along. And about two miles in, I really started struggling. So she's a champ, she had the GoPro, and she hopped in and helped me vlog. So some is for me, some is from Deanna. Um, huge shout out to her for helping me out with that. Um, for those of you who don't know what altitude sickness is, um, it, everybody feels it a little differently. Sometimes you feel it, sometimes you don't, but basically it is uh, symptoms that start to appear at certain elevations, certain altitudes. So they can range from really mild to really severe. My case went from moderate to severe the further we got up. So had it not been for um, a friend behind me, literally hand on the back keeping me on the mountain sometimes, um, I probably would have had to turn around because my symptoms included really, really bad dizziness, blurred vision, and then obviously, obviously the headache um, is like the most common symptom that most people feel. Um, and then towards the end, I was also starting to get nauseous. So um, I only pushed through because I felt it was safe for me to do so because I am conditioned to do, do the actual hike as well as I had um, safety and people keeping me safe. So we're gonna roll some of that footage, show you what it's like to hike the tallest peak in Arizona, and uh, then I'll check back in afterwards. seconds but here making our way back to the car not too long to go some blogging for me because I have had a really rough day. So without the two of the people in front of me, I probably would not have made it. So just being real, being honest, uh, altitude sickness definitely bothered me. And uh, 
but we made it and now we're headed back to camp. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, more than I did. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, I always like to say that, you know, you're gonna have good days and you're gonna have bad days. I have been at similar elevations without those symptoms and I've also been at similar elevations with those symptoms. Um, that was my worst case. Um, it is what it is. Uh, there are some things that I can train to help it though. So that is what we're gonna talk about right now is how Saturday shifted my approach to training for ultras as well as for training for some of the major 14ers that I have planned in the future. So the only way you can train out altitude sickness is to be in altitude. So I will plan for the rest of the year as long as I can, uh, whether holding to get up to Flagstaff and train at the base of Humphreys or use like the first mile of the Humphreys hike as training ground and not just walk or hike, but actually run up there and really force some effort so that I can start to get used to working at that altitude. And then over the winter, I'm just gonna be training on, like I was already planning, training on my steep inclines here. Um, but one shift that I am going to make to my um, training plan for weightlifting is to actually incorporate lots of step ups into my program. So as you saw, there's a lot of rock climbing, a lot of stepping up. I am five foot four, so that's a lot of height, a lot of times for me to step up onto. And when you're tired and exhausted, it gets harder and harder. So I'm gonna incorporate step ups once a week, maybe twice a week for the remainder of probably forever, uh, just to get that stronger. I'm a big proponent of training out weaknesses. So I found two weaknesses. I found altitude and the step ups were definitely two weaknesses of mine. So we will work to train those out. But my official, official ultra training does not start till September 1. Uh, for the next two weeks, I will actually be in Ohio with my parents. We've got lots to celebrate. So uh, the next episode is actually gonna be me showing you what I'm packing for my cross country road trip because I am traveling and I'm gonna share with you why I'm road tripping um, and, and trying to, why, I, why I'm road tripping um, because obviously this is a volatile time to travel but uh, I, made some, I made some personal decisions to do so um, but I am gonna be traveling across country We'll talk about that in the next video, and I'm gonna share with you what I'm packing to travel across country for both food and exercise equipment. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, know that I will be back to Humphreys and I will create that epic vlog someday, probably next year. Um, I'm gonna tackle her again and hopefully train out that altitude sickness. But I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this episode, I would appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna hear more and follow along as I train for my first ultra event, I would love to have you just click that subscribe button below. And as always, I share so much more on my Instagram, which is a underscore AZ girl and her dogs at, um, yeah, at Instagram. Yeah, you got it. It's right here. Do it's somewhere in the screen. So just click there, um, or not click there, but y'all I'm struggling. It's right there. Um, I do have another Instagram that I'm really, really bad at posting to, but I'm trying to get better at sharing my weight loss journey, and that is Michelle underscore Shanklin, and that's also Instagram. So I would love to have you along there as I share a lot more daily things there. Um, someday I might maybe work up to two vlogs a week, but we will see. But anyways, uh, I've talked enough, so thank you for hanging out with me, and I will see you next week.